So we are going to show you what we bring on all of our trips. These are our essentials for every trip. Links to everything down below. So we always bring a waterproof case of some sort for our phone. Uh, we tend to go to the beach. These are the first ones we had. It's uh, pretty simple. I don't know if you can see that. They uh, came from Amazon. We got them for $12.39 for a two pack. It's got a handy little lanyard. They've done a great job. We love them. Uh, we have absolutely been underwater in the ocean with like $1,200 phones and the phones still work. Uh, we like these better. These, these the are Pelican. Uh, the reason we like these better is that they have a little flotation device in them. So if you do happen to lose it, it's just going to be floating along. Um, if you watched our kayaking video, you'll see me say something about dropping my phone in the water. It was in this case and it was just floating nicely along beside me. Uh, I had the carabiner attached to the lanyard so it couldn't go too far. Uh, those typically run about $20, $25. We got a deal on them, so we got two for $25. That's why we um, were willing to splurge on these, but I definitely think that they are worth the $20, $25 that they normally run. If anybody's wondering, I use the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and it fits just fine, even with a Pelican case on it. So it does fit just about any phone. So next, any essential, no matter where you travel, you need to hydrate. So we have water bottles, as you should. Water is expensive if you buy it normally, so refill the water bottle. These have little hooks, so you can hang them. Uh, we got these from Target. I don't remember, I don't how, remember much. how much we paid. A couple dollars. Um, be green. Don't buy water bottles all the time. Buy something refillable. Especially if you're flying, just go through TSA, fill up your water bottle, you have hydration for flight. And uh, in that same category, we also got these at Target. They were $3. We got two of them. It's just a reusable coffee mug. These are the Room Essentials brand. We take these with us because we, we like to stay in Airbnb, so a lot of times they have coffee pots, but not necessarily travel mugs. So uh, we can get our coffee, head out on the road to wherever we're going, and we don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on coffee to go, or waste time sitting at the house drinking it. We also have these. So bought these on Amazon, $6.99 for a two pack. I love to have a straw. Um, this one, it's telescoping. So it's super easy to hang on your water bottle, whatever you're taking with you. Very compact. And it even comes with a little straw brush that also has telescoping so you can clean your straw and reuse it as many times as you want to. Um, these are made of metal. I like these better than the other ones that we have. They came from Target. Uh, so they're they're tiny, they're about the size of a key fob or maybe your AirPods case. The reason I don't like these as well, so these are like sil silicone. Silicone. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but they look, none of theirs have broken, but they look like they would uh, after repeated folding. Um, but so far, They've done great and they're super compact. You just fold it up, stick it back. Next would be laundry. When you travel, you're going to have dirty clothes. A couple things, Tide pen that's tied to go. Tied to go. Um, they also make these shout wipe pads. And what we also have, but we don't have here, but I'll throw a screenshot up, uh, uh, portable detergent. The ones that we have are sink suds. Uh, we paid, I think, eight, yeah, eight twenty-six for a six-pack on Amazon. It's a little, little tiny packet of laundry detergent, and it comes with a little sink stopper, so you can stop up your sink in your hotel, Airbnb, wherever you might be, if you don't have access to a washer and dryer. Rinse it out if it smells sweaty or something. If you've been hiking, and that way you can pack less. Um, Speaking of, every hotel you ever stay at will give you one of these laundry bags. Uh, 
I tend to collect them, and they make great. This one came from Hampton. This one came from that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, so, Hampton. <laughs> if you're going to an Airbnb or hiking or camping, mm -hmm. you have a nice little laundry bag. You don't have to have one of these. Um, I absolutely stick extra grocery bags or Target bags or yeah. whatever we've got in our suitcases to put dirty stuff in. So this is from Target. I think I. I think they're like three dollars for a three pack or five dollars for a three pack so uh last year when we went to puerto rico I, I always take a toiletry bag with me my toiletry bag uh this is an old dance shoe bag i always put my stuff in it when we went to puerto rico i had a uh, co-wash in there that exploded and so when i opened it everything in my bag covered in hair care product so i found these dollar spot at target my favorite place and I can kind of sort by, like, this is hair stuff. I put my toothbrush and toothpaste in one. My deodorant's in this one. Comes in super handy. Big enough to hold several items. Small enough to easily stick into a corner of your luggage. Or if you're like me, stick the small bags into the big bag and stick that in your luggage. I have a tiny bag, too. It is my little first aid kit. I am missing some things out of this, but essentially, I always want to keep, and she's got one too. Whatever he's missing, I probably have. Just band-aids, some aspirin, I actually have some sinus reliever, Dayquil in here. Antiseptic wipes. Tums. Pain reliever. Just things you might need on the go that you might have forgotten on. Especially band-aids. You don't want to ruin your trip by getting an infection. Everybody's got these little power banks. Well, I what we found was this kit has everything I need to travel with. It has chargers, has the house brick, the car brick, and the power bank. And of course, I still bring an extra power bank because I have a lot of cameras. But if I can just fold this up and put it in the suitcase, then I never have to question, oh my god, did I forget your phone charger? Did I forget your watch charger? It's all right. And we, at least we have one power bank if I forget the rest of them. We take a lot of power banks. Uh, we were in New York City. Of course, we were both using our phones for cameras. We were using it for maps. Our phones died. Our debit cards wouldn't work. Our cash was soaking wet and the machine wouldn't take it. So we were stuck in New York City without any way to contact anyone and tell them that we were, you know, alive. We couldn't do that because we had nowhere to charge our phones. So since then, we carry a power bank everywhere. I think back then power banks really didn't even exist yet. I think they were in like the first stages yeah, and, and so we now still they're never very spent easy the money. To find. I got this from the Hard Rock Cafe. For free. Little keychain thingy. So this actually sits in my camera bag just in the bottom just in case. So next on the list are shoe bags. Shoe bags. So I hate throwing my shoes in my luggage with my clothes especially if I've worn them outside in the rain or the mud. These were from TJ Maxx. I found them two pack for $6.99. And it's literally just a little bag with a little zipper specifically for your shoes. You can obviously use something else, um, but these are kind of cheap. And they come with little hangers so you could hang them somewhere. Suitcase real estate. Suitcase real estate is extremely important, especially if you're trying to pack with just a carry-on to be light, to, to save money. So, I highly recommend... Hey dudes, these are my new favorite travel shoe, but these are so light. They're 0.6 ounces a piece, so it's a little over a pound for two, and they squeeze very small, perfect in the suitcase. Oh yeah, they're super flexible. Cool enough to walk in, they slip on and off, and they're lightweight, and they're like 50 bucks. We're all about trying to save as much money as possible, so the more money you can save on <clears throat> things you need, the more money you can save on things you want. Like not buying an actual toiletry bag and using a bag that your dance shoes came in years ago. Also, this is not on your list, but this clutch. I, I suppose so. This was given to me at some kind of wedding expo when we got married. Um, it's hard sided. So I have things like my contacts and jewelry, watch, watch band. band. Anyway, just random stuff that's really small 
that I don't want to lose or get damaged. I uh, like my contacts because I need to be able to see. I suppose an eyeglass case would work. Yeah. Too. Yep. The last thing on our list is not something we can actually show you, but it's a great idea. Digital copies of your IDs, passports, uh, any important paper, take a picture of store it on your phone, store it in the cloud, someplace you can access without your phone. In case you lose your wallet, in case you lose your phone. Do or get I mugged. Or get mugged, lose. Uh, especially mugged. if you're traveling internationally, take pictures of your passport, uh, boarding passes for airplanes, cruise ships, whatever you might be traveling on. Don't want to be trapped in some country trying to prove that you're who you are. Really, digital copies are not official documents, so you need hard copies to travel with but it makes it easier for them to at least track your identity down and get copies it might make it easier to get home yeah brings us back to these things these are amazing when you're going to the beach i put my phone i put my key i put it in this put the lanyard around my neck uh tighten it up a little bit so i can go enjoy the ocean without constantly being like okay i'm too far away from my stuff i need to get closer where is my stuff i can't you know i can go out actually enjoy myself and know that if somebody steals my stuff all they're really getting is a towel and you know some flip-flops um and if you're taking a cruise putting your cruise card your room key in there because that's how you get back on the ship i say you do everything on the ship your cruise card is your life Unless you're on one of the newer cruises, like Celebrity, MSC, some of them and do they it. have the, the, the wristbands. But if you're on a cruise that doesn't have the system, you just have the card, find something to hang it with because it just, you don't want to lose that. Actually, on our last cruise, I misplaced my card. We didn't misplace our cards. We accidentally left them in the room while we were taking our luggage out on the last night. I don't know whose fault it was. We, well, we have, both left the room with You have to put the key keys. to turn the lights on, yeah. and then I rolled the suitcases out. I mean, it was super fun. It was hard enough uh, on the ship. I definitely wouldn't want to be off the ship without it. Yeah. So I believe that's everything. So what are some of the things you'd like to bring on your trip? Leave a comment down below. Let me know some of the things that you just can't travel without or couldn't even think about traveling without. And let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, don't, don't take her on a trip. Don't, don't pack the kitty. She, no matter she would how not do well in the No matter how hard she tries, we can't take the kitty. Um, all right. Until next time, have a great day. We are recording, so we're live. Okay. Not live. We're not live. We're not live. Need to travel. Or scare the cat to death. Eggs. Everybody talks about cubicles and pet cat. Uh, so I hate dry. Real estate suitcase. Nope. Suitcase real estate. Suitcase real estate.